we are coming to the 20th anniversary of September 11th. And uh, Caleb, on his debut episode, has really an interesting story that a whole lot of people have not heard. It took place on... Um, on September the 11th, it happened in relation to Flight 93 and fighter pilots who were sent up. And uh, it, is, it is an absolutely incredible tale of selflessness and patriotism. Uh, so, Caleb, take it away. Share that with folks who are watching. Yeah. Um, for my generation, 9-11 was the biggest catastrophe that we had ever lived through before the coronavirus hit. I think it's interesting that on this panel, we have like three very different perspectives where Cameron wasn't even alive when 9-11 happened. Uh, Josh obviously had a much more of a cognitive ability to sift through what was happening, and I was in the third grade at the time. So for me, this story resonates because it helps to exemplify, like Josh said, this American tendency to make the best of a horrible situation and sacrifice for the greater good. So I think we all know that United 93 was the fourth plane in the hijackings that took place on September 11th, and I think most people uh, say it was going to the Capitol or the White House, one of the two, Capitol building. I mean, obviously it was going to DC. Um, so part of the timeline's interesting with United 93 because the two other planes hit the World Trade Center and the Pentagon before uh, United 93 was hijacked. So when this takes place, United 93 is heading back to DC towards its target, but people are on their cell phones on that flight and people on the ground that they were reaching out to them told them that 9-11 was happening in New York and relayed the situation. So a big part of the reason that those people felt it was necessary to take the plane back, even if it cost them their lives, is because they knew what had happened in New York and they knew if they did not act, not only would they perish, but many more people would also be lost. But happening simultaneously with the, this brave actions by the passengers of United 93, there were two uh, F-16 pilots where jets were scrambled from uh, Andrews Air Force Base in Mar Maryland. And this all was happening so quickly without really an awareness of um, the true scope of it that these jets, when the order uh, came that something must be done, they weren't even armed. Like they didn't have the missiles that would have been necessary to shoot down an airliner if that was the decision that would have been authorized by the president. And they knew that when they took off. The pilots were Lieutenant General Mark Sassville and Heather Penny, who was actually one of the first women uh, combat pilots. And they made the selfless decision to get in those airplanes, intercept Flight 93, or United 93, and without having long-range weaponry, they've even said this in the press, so this isn't like a hot take or something um, from my imagination, they verbalized that they would have kamikaze their aircraft into the plane to bring it down if necessary. And to think about that, where they were voluntarily taking off from Andrews Air Force Base, thinking that they were never gonna come back, that they were going to sacrifice their lives in order to prevent a greater catastrophe and loss of life from occurring, that to me is just unbelievable because there is this very natural human instinct to protect ourselves and to make a decision that's in our own best interest. And there's nothing more selfless than saying, I'm gonna lay my life down to save innocent people. And fortunately, they weren't uh, put in a position to have to make that decision because of the insanely brave acts of Todd Beamer and the other folks that were on that flight that took control of the plane and put it in a field in Pennsylvania. And to me, the question that I pose to you guys, looking back on all of this, is I think there's a, a tendency to focus on the catastrophe and the disaster and the loss of life because the nation was absolutely gripped with sorrow in the aftermath of what happened. But thinking about all of the brave actions of that day from United 93, from these two Air Force pilots, from the people that went into Ground Zero to save lives, I think this is a better encapsulation of the American character and our courage as opposed to us being overwhelmed with fear. So how do you guys see that American disposition exemplifying itself with those circumstances. I'll, I'll, I'll add to this because it just feels, it, it's a weird being part of a generation that I was not alive during this. I only, re, I only know the world post 9-11. I only know like a world where you go to an airport, you have to go through TSA first. And I think just kind of hearing these stories, it's, 
it's definitely strange because for me it wasn't something that I was around for so it's kind of hearing more about a historical event but as an American you can still kind of almost empathize with kind of hearing these different stories and learning about what happened on that day and all the stories that go into it and it's just kind of it's very interesting to hear the different perspectives and seeing how much America has changed and even recognizing that change as someone who hasn't really um, been able been able to process it over the years and just seeing how um, divided as a country we've become we were talking about in the office earlier about how um, October 2001 the country was very united and the weeks following the sem September 11th attacks we haven't seen that level of patriotism um, in this country in a very long time and I don't even know if I will ever see that level of patriotism um, in my lifetime just the direction um, this country has gone there's a lot of um, animosity towards our own country and I'm not talking about the government when I talk about that a lot of people make the mistake of equating your love of country with the love of the state and that's not what this is about this is about your love and appreciation for the American spirit, for the American character, for those stories of those fighter pilots. And I feel like hearing these stories as someone who wasn't alive for it is incredibly impactful. And I'm hoping that more people in my generation will hear these things and feel more equipped to be proud to be from the United States of America and feel equipped to essentially um, carry on the legacy of these people who are no longer with us, who, who fought and died for our country, who died during 9-11, and keep improving this country the way it is and keep preserving that American spirit. <laughs>